call me Autolycus. Well, no, don't. Although I am, like that unfunny clown, a picker-up of unconsidered trifles, which is a fancy way of saying I steal things. Always did, as far back as I can remember. I may fairly claim to have been a child prodigy in the fine art of thieving. This is my shameful secret. One of my shameful secrets, of which, however, I am not as ashamed as I should be. I do not steal for profit. The objects, the artifacts that I purloin, there is a nice word, prim and pursed, are of scant value for the most part. Oftentimes their owners don't even miss them. This upsets me, puts me in a dither. I won't say I want to be caught, but I do want the loss to be registered. It's important that it should be. Important to me, I mean, and to the weight and legitimacy of the, um, how shall I say, the exploit, the endeavour, the deed. I ask you, what's the point of stealing something if no one knows it's stolen save the stealer? I used to paint. That was my other passion, my other proclivity. I used to be a painter. Ah, the word I wrote down at first instead of painter was painster. A slip of the pen, a slip of the mind. Apt, though. Once I was a painter, now I'm a painster. Huh. I should stop before it's too late. But it is too late. Orm. That's my name. A few of you, art lovers, art haters, may remember it from bygone times. Oliver Orm. Oliver Otway Orm, in fact. O, O, O. An absurdity. You could hang me over the door of a pawn shop. 